Hello and welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title of today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how I put beads on my braids. So these are the beads that I got and these are from Magic Collection and they're like some light wood, some dark, some gold, and then some white and gold. And this goes with my outfit. So I figured why not try these? Um. I've had my jumbo knotless braids in for about three weeks and they starting to look a little rough. My hair is starting to poke through. So I'm probably gonna give it like another week before I take them out. But I really, really wanted to put some beads on my braids when I first got them. But the dude that did my hair was like, no, you should wait because you're gonna um, like mess up the braids. So. We about to try it, so let's get into it and do it. All right, so start with one in the front. So my braids are pretty long. Let me show you. Um, so they're like to my butt, basically. So I'm gonna have to cut them. And let's see, I wanna cut to like right here on this one. All right, <laughs> and I got my beater. I'm also gonna show you guys another way if you don't have a beater to use something that's like right in your house and you can make it work. So hopefully I have enough. So this is what, like five beads on one braid. So I'll take it. Okay, sorry, let me show you again. So you take the beater and you just feed the hair through the hole and then you loop it and then push the beads up. Okay. Maybe this one not gonna fit. Okay. That sucks. That really sucks. But the little one did not fit. Maybe this one not gonna fit either. Hold on. That one fit. Honestly, I could really just feed these through without like the beater. Yeah, cause some of these are so big. Okay, so this is what I have. I think I'm just gonna stick with five, five beads per braid um, to make it easy. And I have two packs of beads, but I feel like that might not be enough. <laughs> I do have some more beads in there. They're just a different, a different shade of brown. But we might have to go with that. And the fact that my braids are kind of thick down here, so it makes it hard for some of the beads to fit up on here. Okay, this is the hard part, figuring out how I'm about to... So normally when I like am tying the rubber band around the bead, I take the hair like this and I fold the end over and then just knot the rubber band around it. Like that. And then put the next bead on top to hide it. So that's what it looked like. Okay. Okay. 
this might come out cute so i really really want to put these beads up there but i don't know if it's gonna fit we gonna see let's try it on the next one okay so this is the pattern for this one and i'm gonna just do the same thing feed the hair through i'm gonna try the gold bead again to see if it's gonna go Ooh, and it might not because the big one is struggling to go dang this gold bead might not go up there either Ooh. okay I got it I got it yay y'all this is a struggle <laughs> but I feel like it's gonna be worth it in the end this is gonna be so cute oh my Ooh, don't break it there we go got it yay okay ah, this cute as hell and this matches my outfit okay come on beads okay so this is what i got so far okay it is, i feel like it's gonna turn out cute so let me show you guys the other method that you can use to put beads on all right so the method i'm about to show you now is the old school method my grandma used to do this when she would braid my hair and she didn't have a beater so you need some aluminum foil get you a piece of foil and you're just going to tear off the piece like however you choose to do it so um so snip snip you're gonna take the foil and wrap it around the hair And then now you're just going to like pack it around the hair and then make a little a point at the end because the beads have to be able to fit onto the foil so you can slide it up all right i don't know how this is gonna fit with these um with these beads but we don't see it's actually working that's crazy I think I'm gonna do this one all gold, like the gold and white and the little gold ones. And then you slide it off and that's what it looks like i mean honestly it's it's not really reusable i mean if you if you really wanted to you could reuse this piece of foil but like i'm not going to it's not that serious i'm gonna just get a new piece but like like i said if you don't got a beater i know you got some aluminum foil in the cabinet make it do what it do and this is actually a better method 
for the type of beads that I have and because of how like thick my braids are um this is perfect so I don't know I might stick with this with this method So far, this is what my beads look like. Super cute, right? So I am going to finish my hair and then come back when I'm done. Okay, so I am back and I finished. Really and truly, I think this took me between like 30 minutes to an hour. Uh, I'm bullshitting. It was probably just 30 minutes. But I was filming a TikTok and I took pictures and somebody caught me. So yeah <laughs> but i absolutely love it i think this is so so cute this matches the outfit that i have on really really well and for the most part i wear a lot of neutral colors black brown gray like i'm really into brown that's my favorite color so i feel like the beads are definitely gonna match with the stuff that i i put on for like the next week or so and if not, I can always change the beads to something else. You know what I mean? But I'm feeling it. I can't wait until you guys see the pictures. Um, I'm pretty sure whatever picture, you know, I use is going to be on the thumbnail. So you'll see. You'll see one of them. But um, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and that you follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Shade Not Do. And I will see you in the next one.